Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, October 24, 2016. Our word for discussion is garment. In Psalms 102.26, They shall perish, but thou shalt endure, yea, all them that shall wax, old like a garment. Of vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. Isaiah 61.3 to appoint unto them the morn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that might be glorified. In Matthew 9.21, For she will within herself, and if she but touch his garment, shall be whole. In Mark 2.21, no man also sews a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up takes away from the old, and read the rest made worse. In Acts 12.8, and the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he said unto them, Cast thy garment unto thee, and follow me. This word defined as an article of clothing, an outer covering or outward appearance, used with an object, as a clothes or dress or a cover. Before Jesus died, for us and took away our sins, our gar garments were filled with blood. After he died, the garment was washed white as snow. An old garment won't take a new patch due to the rip or tears will worsen. When we follow Jesus, we are cast away our old garments and obtain new when we follow him. When we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are as a new garment. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.